Okay, hello gang. We are going to do the first of a couple of special topics for this chapter. This is uh, how we graph parabolas uh, without a calculator, finding five key points. All right. So uh, we have got two examples, one a little bit easier than the other. We'll start with the easy one. Uh, we're given a parabola, and this is in vertex form. So right away we should be able to find a couple of these points really quickly. If uh, this is my coordinate system, I know that the vertex is going to be at negative 3 from this and positive 8. So I go over 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, and there's our vertex. So label that negative 3, 8, okay? And it's going to be opening down because we've got a negative, and it's heading that way. But we want to find out where it intercepts the y-axis. So we do that by just substituting in when x is 0. So if I plug in 0 right there, you should be able to do it in your head. 3 squared is 9. 9 times 2 is a negative uh, 18. Negative 18 plus a positive 8 is negative 10. So 5, 10. This is going to go down and cross through right there. And we should label that 0, comma, negative 10. All right? So we've got two points out of our 5. The third point is based on the fact that this is our line of symmetry going through the vertex. So if I go to this point and imagine that I've got a paper that I can fold over, and this is like a wet ink dot from having just drawn that, if it folds over, it's going to be right over here. This distance is always the distance from my y-axis to the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is right here, x equals minus 3. It's always this coordinate. So if that's going 3 this way, I'm just going to go 3 more that way. It's always, like I said, this symmetric line will flip that over to right here. So my parabola is going to curl around and go through that point. What are the coordinates of that point? Well, it's staying at that negative 10, so that's negative 10. It's doubling always this coordinate, so it's negative 6. If that had been a positive 5, it would double to be positive 10. So negative 3, so it doubles to be negative 6. Right? My marker might be fading here, so that's negative 6, negative 10. Okay? My other two key points are these points right here, the intercepts. Uh, like we did in section 4-3, uh, we are going to say, when is this equal to 0? So if I just set this equal to 0, 0 then is equal to negative 2, in the parentheses still x plus 3 squared plus 8, now I'm just going to go through and extract the square roots like we did in that section. I subtract 8 from both sides. I get minus 8 equals minus 2, x plus 3 squared. I then divide both sides by negative 2. We're trying to isolate this the parentheses that's getting squared. So I divide both sides by negative 2. I get a positive 4 then is equal to x plus 3 squared. Well, when I square root both sides, I'll get plus or minus 2 is equal to x plus 3. And that's going to be then, if I subtract 3 from both sides, I'll get x being equal to minus 3 plus or minus 2. Well, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. Oh, that should be a bracket. Again, don't make that into uh, parentheses or it'll look like one single point. The two points, though, are always negative 1, 0. That's that one. And then negative 5, 0. That's that one. So the five points of our parabola are the vertex. This one here is the y-intercept. We've got the two x-intercepts right there and right there. And then this is called the symmetric point. And this is the one that's least important to remember the name. The intercepts are key and the vertex is key. So there are the five points of a parabola when it's a fairly straightforward example. Here is going to be a slightly more difficult example. All right, this is one where it's not in vertex form, and we want to same, find those same five points. So let's say we've got y equals x squared plus 2x minus 15, okay? And again, I'll draw my 
my graph, my coordinate system. How do I find the vertex? Well, this goes back to the very first section of this chapter. We use our magic formula minus b over 2a. And when I do that, I get a minus 2 over 2 times our invisible 1. 2 times 1. That's just a negative 1. Negative 2 over positive 2 is negative 1. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4. There's negative 5. My axis of symmetry is going to be along the line x equals negative 1. That's where my fold line is going to be for my symmetry in my parabola. Well, how do I find the other vertex point, the y vertex point? I plug in negative 1 and work it out. Here's where you want to be really careful. Just make sure you don't mess up with the negative signs. That's a negative 1 squared. That's going to be a positive 1. Plus 2 times a negative 1 minus 15. There's nothing to substitute in there. Every once in a while, people somehow think they have to put in a negative 1, but they don't. There's no x there. This then is positive 1 minus 2 minus 15. And 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 15 is negative 16. Well, there we go. So then this vertex point is way down here. We'll go 5, 10, whoa, down here, negative 16 right there. Negative 1, negative 16. I hope that shows up on the camera. All right. Um, I'm going to cheat actually a little bit. I'm going to scrunch my axes just so that it does show up. I bet it missed out. Let's say that's negative 5. There's negative 10. There's negative 15. And there's negative 16. So negative 1, negative 16. Okay, that's my vertex. My other point is my y-intercept, and I just plug in 0. This is when it's easier to do that because those both become 0, and it's negative 15. So it opens up. Up, that's negative 15. There's negative 10, negative 5. There's the intercept going up. And, of course, I managed to screw myself up here, give myself a little bit of room. That vertex is negative 1, negative 16 for the third time. This is my symmetric point. Well, if I'm one unit that way, I'm going to go one unit beyond because of my symmetry rule, and that's minus 2, negative 15, whereas this was 0, comma, negative 15 for my intercept. And now I just want to know when it goes up, where does it cross right here and right here? That's my fourth and my fifth point out of my five points of a parabola. How do I do that? Well, I say 0 is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 15. And I can plug that into the quadratic formula, but I said this is really all about not using a calculator. So if it's possible, factor it. And in this case, I made one that was relatively easy. Maybe you can factor this while you're pausing the camera or whatever. Minus 5 and plus 3 will work out. Whoops, plus 5 and minus 3 because when I do the rainbow check, it's going to give me my plus 2x there, okay? Well, that's going to be 0 when this is 0, and when that's 0, x then has its zeros, or its y uh, x-intercepts. Um, sorry, yep, that's x is equal to negative 5 and positive 3, okay? So that means I go to negative 5 and 1, 2, positive 3. So when x is positive 3, y is 0. When x is negative 5, y is 0. And I found there are the five points of the parabola. Okay? So why don't you try y equals x squared minus 5x and minus 14. Okay? Why don't you try finding the five points of that parabola. All right, good luck.